How's it going, guys? Lucian Sword here, and today, to sort of give you guys a preview of the home team colors that are going to be coming out later this week, I thought it would be a good idea to go into training and show you guys what the home team colors look like for every single Brawlhalla skin, and sort of give you my opinions on which ones look the best, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and start out with Bodvar, the very first legend in Brawlhalla and the mascot for the game. So here we have the home team colors for Bodvar. As you can see, they have really nice colors, very nice shading. I don't like them on this one. Uh, you can see this one has better looking color schemes than home team. Big Rig looks really nice though. Asgardian looks really nice, although the sword, mm, it leaves something to be desired. Here we have Marauder Bodvar as well, Warchief, one of the coolest skins in the game in my opinion. We have the Hulk Hogan Bodvar, Draugr Bodvar, Nutcracker Bodvar for all you nutty people. And we have Metadev Bodvar for all you tryhards out there. And last but not least, the newest Bodvar skin, the epic WWE crossover Xavier Woods. And there you have Bodvar's home team colors. Moving on to Cassidy. Let's start it out with default Cassidy. As you can see, she looks really nice, very clean. I think they did a good job on this one. Space Race Cassidy also looking very clean. Although, I'm a little interested as to why they don't have more of the red color in this color scheme. Obviously, in this one, she has the red boots and gloves, but for some reason, there's almost... Actually, I don't think there's any red whatsoever on this skin. Kind of strange, because red is one of the primary colors. Anyways, here you have too much red on the blasters. This one just looks good overall. It has good balance of all the colors. Same here, looks very nice. I especially like the gold snakes on the boots. Nice details like that. Hey, Cupcake Cassidy. Not bad, not bad. This one looks very nice. Almost a little bit too dark with the really dark red gloves on this one though. Otherwise, a nice looking skin. Calavera Cassidy. What can I say? It just looks good. Dust Devil Cassidy, again, where's the red? Otherwise, looks good. Globox, yeah, I mean, it's Globox. I don't even see gold or red at all. Oh wait, his eye has a little bit of gold. But where's the red? Moving on to Orion, we have a lot of Orion skins to look at, so let's go with the home team classic first. This one looks really nice. No complaints there. This one looks really nice as well, but here we have no gold uh, theme. I don't understand why BMG does that. They just think it's okay to completely remove some colors from certain color schemes, but yeah, there we go. No gold on that one. This one has no red, but otherwise it looks nice. This one has a nice little combination of all the three colors here that Home Team Colors uses. The gray, the gold, and the red. I keep calling it red, but I guess it's more of a wine color, right? This one looks pretty good. I, I also notice some inconsistencies with how the colors are shaded. Like, for instance, the red is more pronounced here than it is here. This almost looks like a dark maroon, and it's not very shiny. This one looks very nice. Orion for her higher always looks nice. Kabuto looking very sharp. Hmm, Corsair, very nice. Freaky, but nice. Ah, oh, look at the shading. You can tell BMG put a little bit more effort into some of these than others. This one is definitely a nice looking skin with the home team colors. One of my favorites with Orion. And then we have the Black Knight. For some reason, there's no red on this. Even though he has red helmet and red visor in the picture, or in the thumbnail, uh, for some reason they just didn't want to do that with the home team colors. Moving on to Lord Vrax, we have... Actually, let's go ahead and start with the default Vrax. Where is he? There he is. 
Very nice. I think they did a good job pretty much with all the defaults on these. And we're going to start moving along a little quicker because otherwise this video is going to be really, really long. So I'm just going to go quickly over all of these. And if we have any that I feel like stand out, I will stop on those. Like, this one looks really nice. Obviously. So, there you have Lord Vax. Out of all of these, I would say my favorite is probably either the default or this one. I just think the colors look the best on that. For Nash... Where are those home team colors, Nash? There we go. So, Nash has a lot of skins. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but he does. I, don't even, I can't even find default Nash. There we go. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. This one's not bad. Not bad. Oh, wow. This one, the, the red is almost pink. Interesting. Interesting. This is just too much going on. Ooh, I really like this one. This one looks really nice with home team colors. They did a really good job on Frankenstein Nash. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think I think uh, this one's pretty nice. I like the golden eye on the lion. And uh, I gotta say, for Nash, my favorite is probably the Frankenstein. Moving on to Queen Nye. This one looks amazing. Galaxy X Nye looks very good. Winged Serpent Nye also looking very nice. And feel free to pause the video if I'm going too quickly on any of these skins. This one just really stands out because they took a bold direction here and painted her face and skin red, which was kind of surprising, but it it, it works with uh, with this skin. I think it looks pretty pretty standout. Oof, this one, a lot of detail on this one. Again, her face is just so fierce because of the, the paint and the uh, shading. I gotta say though, the Galaxy X9 just looking clean. That's probably my favorite one for Queen Nye. And we have Hattori. Hattori! Hmm. Ugh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, at least they used all the colors on that. Yeah, the default's looking really nice. Kill Bill, not bad. I like the golden hue on the blade. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, this one looks really clean. Nightblade's probably going to be one of my favorites. That one looks good. Looks good. No complaints. That one looks good, too. Oof. Yeah, I think uh, I think this one is my favorite Hattori home team color skin right there. Nightblade Hattori. Moving on to Sir Roland. Hmm, not bad. I always like the classy Roland, although I wish they would have made the rose a little bit more pronounced color like an actual rose would be. That one is kind of a dull color. They could have either, either done the red or the golden rose. Either one would have looked better than that kind of washed out yellow. Not bad, not bad. Kind of a too, too much gray in this one. Too much black gray. Like it, it kind of just, I don't know, kind of washes out the whole skin in, in my opinion could have been fixed with some more lighting and a little bit more variation in color. This one looks nice. It's almost the opposite. Like, this one's almost too dark. This one's almost too bright. But it, 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 it's alright. Would have liked to see a little more red, maybe, in the blade. Mm, too much gray going on in the face and head. Too much red going on in the body. This one's pretty balanced. Nice. I like this one. This one's not terrible. Honestly, the best one is probably either Default or Roland the Hooded so far. I like this one too, it's not terrible. Honestly, Ro Roland the Hooded is looking really good on classic colors. Yeah, this, nah, no, this one doesn't even have red. And look at it, they put his feet to be like pink. So if they could do a pink red there, why don't do a pink flower? You know what I mean? Inconsistencies. And moving on to Scarlet, we have Steam Smith Scarlet, Steam Tank Scarlet. This one looks really nice on the shading. Honestly, guys, this is a tough call, but I'm going to give... Mm, this one actually looks really good. I think Bewitching Scarlet is probably the best in home team. This one looks really good, too. Honestly, there's no bad choices with Scarlet. I think all of these look really good with home team. Moving on to Thatch. Let's see, we got Curse Gold, Castaway Thatch, we got Biker Thatch, Secret Santa... Oof, look at that red skin. 
It works, though, because he's a goblin, you know? Oof, this one looks really good. I'm gonna give uh, Default or Poseidon the crown for the best home team color thatch. We have Ada. Technomancer Ada is looking pretty good. Not so good. Too much gray. Pretty good. Very nice. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. That's alright. I think that, uh... Oh, wow. The shading on this is amazing. Not bad. Yeah, definitely uh, Stormlord Ada looks the best, in my opinion, with Home Team. Just look at that. It looks so good. So good. And we have Sentinel. My favorite superhero dude in Brawlhalla. That actually looks pretty good, considering the skin is kind of ugly to begin with. It actually makes the skin look better. This one, yeah. You can't really tell with the rock, but it's... When you get in the game, the weapons uh, change colors as well. So the weapons are, I'm assuming, red or gold. Actually, Default Sentinel looking really nice with the home team colors. This one's one of my favorite as well, High Impact Sentinel. Probably going to give this to either Default or High Impact. Those are my two favorites. Moving along, we have Lucian. That looks amazing as always. Amazing. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Honestly, every single Lucian skin is looking good to me. There's literally not a bad one in the crowd. I'm gonna have to give the best looking home team Lucian to either Dark of Night, because I just love how the colors look, or Horseman Lucian. Those are my two favorite. Oof, Taros! Taros, this one looks really good. Obviously, the horns are very standout. Everything else looks really good. This one looks decent. We have Iron Legion Taros. Regular classic Taros. Gragot. Not bad, not bad, but no red. Again, inconsistent, man. They need to have at least all the colors in the skin, in my opinion. This one looking really nice. I like the gold inside the rib cages. Looking nice. The, the wine-colored horns really stand out, and the golden axe is a nice accent to that. Ooh, that's a nice combination of colors. I like that. Oh, man. That one is going to be hard to beat. This looks very, very good as well. For what limited options they had, it looks really good in my opinion. Now we have Wreck the Halls Taros. Honestly... This one is going to be my favorite. Four Chart Taros looks amazing. And moving down the list, we have Cross. Cross is looking good pretty much in any single color that you have. I mean, all of his skins look good. I wish they would have done his horns with a little bit of red flavor at the tip instead of the gold. That holds this one back from being truly great. This one, they didn't even try. His tattoos could have been red or something. This one, again, I don't think they tried too hard. Again, where is the red? I guess there's a little bit around his waist, but missed opportunity. His crown or the eyeball in the center could have been red. This one looking nice. Yeah, guys, I don't know, man. I, I, he started off strong, but then, I don't know. I'm going to have to give the best dress to either Boss Cross or... Yeah, no, I'm just going to give it to Bra Boss Cross, actually. This one looks the best overall, in my opinion. We have Ragnar. Hmm. This one looks good. Good. Really good. I really like this one. It's alright. Really good. Look at that red jaw. Oh, such a good job. Nice, nice. I mean, they made him all black, and then the little pieces of armor he has, they made red and gold. It works. It works. Ugh. Ugh. Nothing to say about that. It looks good, I guess. Oh, man, that one looks good. Again, the gold inside the rib cage, really contrasting the red ribs. Looks so good. So I'm going to give the... Be wow, there's a lot of Ragnar skins. They're actually all really good. Sobek is looking really clean, too. This is a tough one. I'm going to give it to either Inferno, Mecha, or Ashen. That That's a three-way tie right there. And we have Val. Oh, Chimera Val looking good. This one's looking a little bit dull, but not terrible. 
This one's pretty good. I like her golden weapon. You can't see it very well there unless I lock in. She's looking pretty good. Eh, this one could have been better. It's alright. I mean, her eyes have a weird red glow from behind the visor. That's interesting. And again, the pink accent, which they didn't do on some legends and they did on others. Hmm... The best looking home team Val is probably... Mm, and this one's hard. None of them look that outstanding. I'll probably give it to this one though. Chimera Val. Missed opportunity though. Most of Val's home team colors don't look that amazing to me. And we have Wuxiang. Wow, look at that beard. Somebody was getting bored in the office. This one looks pretty safe. The tattoos should have been red instead of yellow, so you can actually see them. And we have pretty basic designs on most of these. I think probably the best dressed classic Wuxiang is going to be Jin Wuxiang, the genie. It's just got a good combination, the eyes really pop, everything looks pretty clean. Moving on, we have Core. By the way guys, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. This is going to be a long video, obviously, because we have a lot of characters to go through. But, you know, I thought it would be fun to do, because I've never really done a video like this. Wow. Yeah, just just use the paint fill bucket right there, didn't you, at BMG, a couple times. I gotta say, though, uh, Fang Wild Core is probably the best. Core in Space I also love. Warrior Spirit Core. Yeah, these are all pretty good. But I'm going to give the crown to either Core in Space or Fang Wild Core. And we have Jala. This one actually could have looked better. Again, why did you take all the red out of this skin? There was definitely an opportunity. Maybe have red in the sword somewhere or something. Come on, BMG. Not bad. You can see the sword actually goes from gold to red, which is actually really cool. This one's not terrible, not not great. Again, not terrible, not great. This one's alright. I like the orc vibe. I'm really hyped for classic World of Warcraft as well. I'm gonna have an orc warrior, so this one's kind of speaking to me today. Recording this the day that WoW Classic comes out. By the way, if you guys want to play with me, I'm on the Stalag server on Horde. Ooh, this one looks pretty nice. Not bad, not bad. Actually, Finn looking pretty good here. I gotta say, for Jala, the best looking home team colors is probably Warlord Jala. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Warlord Jala. And we have Diana. One of my favorite legends in the game. Although I rarely use home team colors with Diana, just because I think Skyforge or Goldforge or Black look better for Diana. These look pretty dang good too. I really like Worm Slayer, Diana. This one looks good. This one stands out for sure if you want to stand out. Um, actually they all look really good in home team colors. I don't really have any complaints. Literally, oh, whoops. Literally all of these look good, but I'm gonna give it to Crypto Mage. This one just looks the best in my opinion. Holgrim, I just got black colors Holgrim. Um, yeah, as you can see, this one looks really good. His axe, kind of hard to see, but the axe looks really good. I would have liked a little bit of red touch in the axe as well, just to complete the look. This one is, uh, gonna be one of the best, I think, for Old Grim. It looks really nice. Too much red going on here. This one's got some nice balancing going on. We have Arcanium Old Grim as well. Not terrible, not great. This one has nice shading going on. Good balance of colors. And we have classic Olgram. So for Olgram, I'm probably going to give the best looking home team skin to Jotun. Olgram. Ooh. Koji. This one's probably one that a lot of people are waiting for. Obviously, we have Shin Sakai Koji, one of the best looking, if not the best looking skin in the game. Although debatable which colors look the best on Shin Sakai Koji. Um... It's going to be hard to beat some of these, but home team is definitely not a bad choice. It looks really nice. We have Street Samurai Koji, again looking nice. Kind of looking weird on this one, I don't like it very much. It's okay. Not bad, not bad. 
Actually, I really like this one because it has a good balance of colors and I love the golden mouth and eyes. Looks really nice because he is wearing a mask, so that's why they can paint the teeth and the eyes. It looks really nice. This one is also cool. I would have liked to have seen the demon horns be red instead of gold, but that's pretty cool. Not bad. Very nice accent on the mask and the uh, helmet. Looks really nice. So I gotta say, probably it's going to be Shinsekai Koji. Uh, hard to beat that one. That one's probably going to be the best home team for Koji. Moving on to Azoth. This one actually is surprisingly really good looking because of the uh, shading inside the skull. The glow goes from like a bright yellow to a dark yellow the more you go outside the hood. It looks very clean. This one's pretty cool. I would have liked to have seen the, the uh, bones of the skull be yellow or something. Kind of a missed opportunity there. Make it really pop. Again, the colors look good inside the skull, but the rest of this looks kind of boring. It's, it's a good mix of colors. I see they got a little lighter red in there and a little bit of a darker red. And I like how the axe has all the, all the colors on it. The axe is actually pretty nice looking. This one's a little bit boring, but it's not terrible. The axe is kind of boring. I don't know. This one's actually really clean. I like this one a lot. Terminator Azoth. Not bad. Not great either. Lich Lord. Not bad. Not great. This one's actually really good too. They did a really good job with the colors on this one. And default actually looks really pretty decent as well. So uh, I'm going to have to give it to uh, Necromancer Azoth. I think this one just really stands out the most. Ah, uh, one of my favorite legends we have, Ember. Unfortunately, Ember doesn't look that good with home team colors in my opinion. Um, notice how like on Goldforge you can see the tattoos or makeup on her face, especially around her eyes. But if I switch it to home team, you just don't see them because I'm assuming they made the tattoos either invisible or they made them practically the same color as her skin, so you can't see the tattoos. And it kind of takes away a little bit of her edginess, you know what I mean? So other than that, that's that's decent. This one looks better, you can see the tattoos. Why didn't they just make the tattoos on this one, like, like on this one, the gray makeup? Oh well. Holly Jolly Ember, always looking good. Radiant Ember actually looking pretty good here too as well. Nightshade, not bad. Not bad. Dragonheart could have been a little bit better, but not terrible either. Metadev Ember. Definitely looks really nice. Meadow Guard with the red mouse face, okay. Ember the Hunter. I, I, I like this one, it actually looks pretty good. Ooh, but Star Guardian Ember, if you actually look at the visor, you can slightly see through it to her eyes. The colors on this one. The shading is really, really good. Has a good combination of all the colors. This one's probably going to be the best looking ember in my opinion. Yeah, probably, probably Star Guardian looks the best for this color scheme. Although, I actually rarely ever use that. But, it still looks the best in my opinion. Uh, moving on to Azoth. So, we have Sawed Off Azoth looking really nice. Just going to kind of quickly go through Azoth skins. This one, his hair could have been better looking, but not not bad. Oof, that one's fierce, man. He's got like orange eyes too. Amunraza. Hmm. Gotta say, none of these are really yelling at me like, I'm amazing. But if I had to pick one, probably... Uh, see, I like this one except the hair. Everything else on this looks amazing, but... Hmm. I might even just do classic Baraza. It looks really nice. Between these two. Azuri. Oof, this one looks really good. Skell Azuri looks really good, man. They did a great job on that. Hmm. Gotta say, I don't think like any of these look terrible, but I don't think any of them look as good as the Skelly Azuri, so I'm gonna give Skelly Azuri the best looking skin here. And we are more than halfway, guys, so hold in. We are going to get to the rest of the legends here. Moving along, we have Bryn, my original main, my highest level legend. Which Bryn skin looks the best with home team colors? I'm going to give it 
two e. That one looks good, but I don't know. It's hard to say. Ah. Eternal Love actually looks really good. You can't see it, but the weapons look really good with this skin as well. Hmm. I'm going to give it to either Fallen Brin or Eternal Love. Now, we are getting into the Scythe users. Who's a Scythe main out there? Let me know in the comments. Ooh, look at this. Apocalypse Mirage. Can you even compete with that skin? I don't care what color it is. This is probably going to be the best looking skin. I mean, this is one of the best looking skins in the game. It looks good with any color. I mean, come on. Is that even fair? We'll look at the other ones, though. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Honorable mention right here, Undying Mirage. I think they did a really good job here. But it's it's got to go to Apocalypse Mirage, for sure. Nyx. Everybody's favorite edgy legend. We have Grim Reaper Nyx. Not bad. I like this. Classic actually looks really good. You guys notice that almost all the classic skins look really good with home team colors. Where's the red on Spectre Knight? Missed opportunity there. Too much red, but it actually looks pretty sweet. This one's got a good balance. I actually like this one. Not bad. Kind of freaky, but not bad. I, I would have liked to seen the, the hair be red and gold and make the hat gray instead. But, not bad. Hmm. Kind of boring, but still cool. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I almost have to give it to either Grim Reaper Nyx or... Classic Nyx, to be honest. Those look the best, in my opinion. Going on to Mordex. Fenrir Mordex. This is probably everybody's favorite skin that's really hard to get because it's only available once a year, or maybe a couple times a year when they do a certain chest. It's like a chest exclusive, I think. Looks pretty good. Dog Days Mordex from a summer heatwave event. Celestial. Not a lot of people pick this skin, but it is pretty cool looking. This one really stands out, other than it doesn't have a lot of gold, but it does stand out. Eh, this one doesn't look that good at all to me. In that color. Classic looking alright. Daimyo. Not bad, not bad. Oof, this one looks really good. Look at the shading on the glasses. You can tell they put some more effort into some skins than others. This one, they definitely put more effort. It looks really good. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm gonna have to give it... I'm gonna have to give the best-looking Mordex home team colors to Mad Dog Mordex. Mordex. Oh god, did my game just crash? Yep, my game just crashed. All right, so my game just crashed. Sorry about that. Um, apparently, Mad Dog Mordex with the home team colors was too OP to handle. But that was my choice for the best looking Mordex skin. <laughs> Let's go ahead and continue. Hopefully it won't crash again. Come on, BMG, fix your game. Not even doing anything and the game crashes. Um, here we have a little Yumiko. Not bad, not bad. Would have been cool if, like, you know how she has three little spirit orbs? If, like, one was gold, one was red, and one was gray. That would be freaking cool. But, not bad, not bad. I'm probably gonna have to give the best looking home team Yumiko to either Madame Yumiko, because it just looks so dang classy, or I, this one I w really wish they would have done a better job on the, on the uh, pumpkin spice. Um, or a uh, cursed mask Yumiko. This one actually looks really good too. Ah, Artemis, one of my favorite legends, one of the best looking legends. This is one of the best looking skins and color combinations in the game in my opinion. Looks really, really good. And we have Street Race Artemis, also looking good. A little dark on the visor, but otherwise not bad. This one is oh, so good, so good. I'm gonna have to give the best looking Artemis with the home team colors to... This one's not bad either. Honestly, it's gonna be either between Dark Heart and Eclipse. These two look the best for sure. We are actually moving along quite quickly now. Caspian. Plague Knight. Not bad, not bad. Oh, Harlequin. This one looks so good in home team colors. Such a good job there. Not bad, not bad. Again, not bad. The, the wine red really goes well with the vampire look. Excellent job there. Good. Alright. Meh. Actually, good. Again, the classic colors. Classic skins always look really good for some reason. 
Uh, but I'm gonna give it to Harlequin, Caspian, man. This, this one just looks so good. And look at the weapons there. Oh, really good job. Sidra. The legend I wish I was good at, but I'm actually not that great. Um, I wish the cannon would have been, like, more gold. Seeing as, like, there's already a lot of gray on her body, on her, like, hair, her skin. Or not her skin. Her hair and her, uh, clothes, there's a lot of gray. But could have put a little more gold in the cannon to kind of balance out the colors like this this looks better right definitely looks better and that's the classic sidra not bad not bad again not bad not terrible too much too much gray and black in the tentacles kind of makes it hard to see the little subtle um, changes in textures and stuff like could have done a little better job on the tentacles there yeah I'm gonna have to give this one to Classic Sidra. I think it looks really good. Zul, home team colors. Again, this axe. Uh, where did I see that axe? Was it on Ulgrim? I think it was. Um, but this is actually Zul's axe. It looks really good on Demon Ogre Zul. Uh, this Classic skin, again, looks amazing. They did a really good job on the Classics. This one looks really, really good as well. Not the best. Not terrible actually decent would have liked a nice golden axe blade but like that looks really good i gotta say uh all of these look really good i'm gonna have to give it to either grid iron zoll or probably even just a classic zoll looking really good with home team colors moving along we have kaya kaya's looking pretty good with home team colors she uh she she really stands out to me with the aurora kaya and the Snow Stalker Kaya, but this one's not bad either. I like the little lighter red around the eye of the uh, helmet there. Default Kaya, unfortunately, doesn't really look that great with home team colors. Doesn't really stand out to me, but not bad, not bad. I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give Aurora Kaya the crown there for best looking. Moving on to Isaiah. This one actually I really like with Isaiah. Most of his skins look really good with home team colors. In fact, I don't really think there's any bad ones. Uh, this, they, they pretty much all look good. I wish there was more red on this one. I mean, they could have done his gloves red or something, but uh, they're all pretty good looking. I'm going to have to give it to, mm, I'm going to go with uh, probably Section Zero, even though it's a pretty dark looking skin overall. The bright gold in the center of his head and the on the chest, the Iron Man chest thing and the red helmet really stand out to me. Now we have Jiro. This looks really good in home team colors. Again, really good balance, especially when you throw in the weapon. It just completes the look really well. Wow, this one, the face really stands out. Um, not bad, not bad. Again, not bad at all. Oof, the shading on the site looks really clean. Classic Jiro looking really good. I gotta give him credit, man. The classic skins look really good. Other than Kaya. Sorry, Kaya. This one's alright. Um, I don't know if I agree with the color choice of the transparent head. Kind of looks like a big... I don't I don't even know. I, I, I just wish it was a different color. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to give... Uh, I'm gonna have to give the best looking home team uh, skin for Jiro to Komainu Jiro. If I'm even saying that right. It just looks really good to me. Almost done, guys. We are getting to the home stretch. We have Lin Fei. Uh, she's looking pretty good. Ooh, I like the... I don't even know how to say that. Dalmadan Lin Fei looks really good. Ah, oh, this one looks so good, too. Zulong Lin Fei. I'm gonna have to give it to Zulong Lin Fei. This one looks really good. Ah, one of my favorite legends. We have Zariel. Unfortunately, my favorite Zaryl skin, which is this one, does not look very good. You can see in the other colors, his helmet really stands out. But then you look at home team and it just, the red and the gray don't contrast well. Should have made his helmet gold or something. Uh, it doesn't look good to me. This one looks good. I mean, it's, I don't like the skin that much, but the colors look great. Classic, looking very nice. Actually, this one looks really good. Oh, so does this one. So I'm gonna give it it's gonna be a tie between these two. These two, two look really really good with home team colors. Definitely. Outer World, Zariel, and Secret Admirer look really really good. 
Rayman. Everybody loves to hate Rayman, but he is actually a good legend, so be nice. Where's his home team? Wait, does Rayman not have home team? What? What? Okay, well, apparently Rayman is one of the few legends that doesn't have home team colors yet. And, oh, that's right, because all of the new legends don't have home team colors. So, from Zario was the last legend to have home team colors. So, all the legends that are from Rayman on, which is Rayman, Dusk, or Nimue, Fate, or Enchantress, Thor, Petra, yeah, and that's it, I guess, because the rest of these are crossovers. So, from Petra to Rayman, are, we're going to get to see what the home team colors look like, I believe, this Wednesday, the 28th. I'm pretty sure home team colors are coming out Wednesday the 28th. If they're not, then it's going to be sometime near then, and we're going to have home team colors for Rayman Dusk, uh, Fate, which I really am looking forward to Fate, and Petra. Uh, Thor is probably going to look amazing with them as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something a little different than what I normally do. If you did, please go ahead and drop a like. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, let me know what skin is your favorite in Home Team Colors. And let me know how hyped you are for the Home Team event happening later this week. As always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.